Welcome back, Chris here, Flying Brick Motorcycle Accessories. I want to talk about security today to you guys. Security of items on your motorcycle, security of the motorcycle, and security of items on the motorcycle, starting with the bike itself. Many people may choose to use a disc lock. Quite simple, comes supplied with a key, is high vis, so you remember you've got it on. It simply locks onto the front disc of the motorbike and stops anybody wheeling the bike away even if they broke the steering lock and then when you uh, get back to the bike simply remove the uh, turn the key in the lock it removes a little pin this slips off the disc and the bike is free to be wheeled or driven away um, disc locks come in different types this is a, a dumb disc lock it simply locks onto the uh, front disc this is a smart one it has about a 110 decibel squealer so what it does it uh, is a disc lock which locks the bike but in addition it has a, um, a touch sensitive alarm if someone touches the bike it'll give them four warnings if they touch it again the alarm will go off for five minutes it'll reset after five if someone just touches the bike again this will squeal it's deathly loud it can be recharged using a usb port that has a reminder for the handlebar so you don't drive off with that in place driving off with a disc lock not a good idea and um, that's just a bit of fun then we do things like straps. If you were tying the uh, motorcycle onto the back of a bucky or a pickup truck, um, somebody could undo it and cut the cables or undo it and take the bike away. This is a locking cable. It has a, um, a very big uh, opening gate to be able to lock that around something. But the cable has a very strong stainless steel cable running right through the uh, webbing strap, which cannot be cut easily. Another idea for a motorbike, out of sight, out of mind, many people flying up to Johannesburg, parking their cars at Cape Town International might choose to put their motorbike under a cover, it just keeps uh, prying fingers away. The only caution with these is that you do need to either keep it away from the headers, the hot exhaust, or you need to wait till the bikes cool down because this is a, um, a thin uh, plastic and it can melt on a hot exhaust, but they're invaluable for keeping prying fingers away. Another item very good for scooters or sm smaller motorbikes that don't have a handguard is this LX lock. The LX lock clamps around the handlebar and it clamps the front brake on. So the bike can't be wheeled away because you can't release the front brake. Simple but effective. Does not work on motorbikes with handguards. Bare handlebars works perfectly, the LX lock. Coming over to helmets, uh, not nice to wander around town with a bulky helmet in your hand. If you don't have a top box or you have a top box which takes one helmet and your pillion doesn't have her own place to store the helmets, then you can use one of these uh, various uh, cables. They're basically a carabiner with a, um, with a uh, combination lock and they also have a, um, a uh, cable that you can put through jacket arms and attach your jacket as well to your bike. Uh, people often ask about uh, helmets with not double D-rings, but a ratchet lock. And for something like a ratchet lock, you can get the helmet lock. It's a stainless steel bit of metal. It slips down the ratchet, uh, and allowing you to lock to the motorbike a ratchet helmet. Using the bike's own uh, uh, helmet lock, or else using one of the aftermarket locks we provide. Again, we have smaller straps. On a similar theme you could lock a helmet with that on the bike and again if you can see it has the steel cable running right through and these are blind rivets riveting the end so they can't be undone you'd simply wrap that around the helmet and lock that to any sturdy part of the motorbike so whether it's for accessories to lock onto the bike or to lock up the motorcycle itself we have the accessories to suit pop on over and visit us at our online store www dot flyingbrick dot and safe riding.